They're big and loud. Motorized vehicles meant to be used on dirt roads, not on city streets or highways. Yeah, we're talking about ATVs that come with some major safety risks, especially for young people. Sandra Ali has more on how Detroit police are cracking down on ATVs in the city. Look what our local four photographers captured on this warm Friday night near Campus Martius. Lots of folks out enjoying their ATVs. They're having what they call fun. At everyone else's expense. At, you know what? It's really at their expense. Paul Stewart has lived in the same house on Kendall and West Outer Drive in Brightmoor for more than 35 years. It's one of several neighborhoods plagued with ATV joyriders. Sometimes they'll take the muffler off so they can get more speed. Then it's, you know, it's going to mess your ear up. But you know, again, it's life in the city of Detroit. ATVs or all-terrain vehicles aren't designed for public roads. They don't come with any safety features like brake lights or turn signals. They're only supposed to be used for off-road entertainment. Problem is, they're not. ATVs are a problem across the country. Remember this chopper video showing a driver ramming his ATV into a Detroit police detective's car? The incident sparked a chase on the city's southeast side. Commander Melissa Gardner oversees the 3rd Precinct in downtown. Two trouble spots for police where they're cracking down on riders. Those that have off-road vehicles, they tend to travel in packs. They're driving down our public roadways, doing wheelies, stunts, things that are causing safety issues, not only for themselves, but those others that are on the roadway. All-terrain vehicles can weigh more than 600 pounds and have large, powerful engines, often reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour. With a high center of gravity, no roll bars, safety cages, or seat belts, they can tip easily, throwing riders and passengers off. They're out here in the late hours, uh, early mornings, and, and it is a nuisance. A nuisance with deadly consequences. Michigan is one of the top states for AT TV related deaths, usually because of head injuries. The reward uh, of that thrill doesn't outweigh the risk. Deputy Chief Hayes says the department saw a spike in illegal activity use this time last year. That's why Detroit police put a three point plan in place to try to tackle the problem. The easiest consequence that you can get is getting arrested or getting a ticket or getting them impounded. But with the safety factor, it could be a lot worse. Part of the approach is catching riders on the ground like they always have. Then on top of that, using technology from the Real Time Crime Center, coupled with eyes in the sky. We have our air support, uh, which has been a, a, a very effective tool uh, in dealing with the drifting and drag racing. The overarching message? The parents do not let your children ride these ATVs out in the street, out in the traffic. Don't even buy them more. If you do, take them to a place, a state park or somewhere where they are lawfully able to be operated. In fact, Michigan is one of the top states for ATV related deaths. That's according to the very latest data from Children's Hospital of Michigan. Michigan coming in behind New York and Missouri and the state with the highest number of ATV deaths is Texas. Back to you. All right, thank you, Sandra. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission across the country, 28% of ATV crashes involve children younger than 16. That also includes dirt bikes.